all day. Uh, is there any point in asking about the roster? <laughs> uh, uh, Alex Wood will start game four. Uh, Ryu uh, is not going to be on the postseason roster. Um, although he's had a tremendous season, just seeing the roll out of the pen, uh, he's uh, not comfortable with it. Uh, so I think that as we go through matchups and looking at the roster, um, Alex is a clear choice to start game four. And, and just uh, watching the game last night, what was your reaction when you saw you know, Robbie Ray coming in, knowing that you guys had kind of been preparing to see him in game one? It, it, wasn't, um, it, it wasn't totally a surprise to any of us as we were sitting here watching the game, uh, understanding that it was a uh, winner go home uh, game. And so obviously when you got arguably your best pitcher uh, at your disposal to, to uh, exhaust him makes sense and to then have him available for game two and game five uh, possibly uh, yeah, it made sense QB uh, selfishly were you jumping up and down when you saw Ray come in um, do, do you think that makes a difference for you guys that he advantage in this series you want my honest <coughs> opinion yeah uh, no I, I think that it wasn't a surprise but obviously uh, uh, it put them give gave them the best chance to win the game. But when you're thinking about having him start game one, and uh, it doesn't change a whole lot because he would still start game five. So uh, you still potentially could see him twice. So uh, still Taiwan, he, he's pitched well against us. Godly, Zach obviously has had some success, and um, Ray has really got the best of it. So they got a deep starting staff. Next question. Yeah. If they would start in game four, is that set in stone or could somebody else perhaps try to talk their way into that start? Set in stone, Bill. <laughs> set in stone. Okay. If there's a game four, Alex will start game four. Clay won't go in short breath. And um, when you acquire a guy like you, Darvish, and you have Alex Wood have the season that he's had, uh, that's why uh, you do things like that. And, and last year was a different year. And I can't speak to two years ago or years prior with Clayton. <laughs> but we assured him that uh, he doesn't need to prepare for uh, a short, uh, going on a short rest. Question? Hello? Hello, that's more of a luxury. Do you feel like there's more of a luxury this year with not having Clayton have to go on a short rest because you have somebody with such a quality arm like an Alex Wood that perhaps you didn't have in the past forcing Clayton to go on a short rest? Absolutely. And you talk about winning post game series and the depth of a starting rotation um, and to put, albeit in our opinion, the best pitcher in all of baseball on short rest is still tough. It, and <coughs> no one's doing it, you know, within the, you know, the modern kind of, not modern, but the last 10 years, guys don't pitch on short rest in the postseason. So Clayton is certainly an outlier and to not have to tax him more than uh, he has been taxed um, in the past, I think that it's, uh, it's speaks to what we have in our starting staff and to feel confident, very confident with Alex taking the ball and potential game for him. Hi, Jay. Uh, you said you, you is not a positive, positive roster, but he is going to be pitching similar simulation game today. What is the plan for you? The, the plan for him is uh, we want him to be on our taxi squad. So basically, he's going to stay hot, stay with the ball club. He's going to stay with us, travel with us and continue to throw the hitters and throw pens. So if something um, unforeseen or we choose uh, because of a potential matchup to activate him, he'll still uh, have his length and, and be ready to, to, to uh, be activated. We'll take David, the reporter. David? Dave, uh, I'm not sure if you saw that report that uh, Major League Baseball is investigating the Diamondbacks because it was captured and one of their coaches had that yeah, actual watch did. on. Fill me in. Does that, does that uh, raise any alarm bells? Call Apple Watch? Yeah, does that raise any alarm bells with you or concerns? No. Um, the commission was very clear on uh, what's supposed to be in the dugout, what devices are being used or allowable. Um, so uh, I'm sure they've got it. Uh, they'll take care of it. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to concern myself with the Apple Watch and the Diamondbacks dugout. Okay.
state. Just just following up on the idea of Clayton not going to show rest at all. Is that do you think that's for the whole postseason or is that this just this round? I know you have to focus on that. Or and, and is it based on any kind of analytics you've done on sort of how he's fared throughout when he does that multiple times throughout the playoffs? Um, I, I think it's more based on. Can I say that uh, it won't happen this entire postseason right now? I can't sit here and say that. Um, is it uh, based on analytics? I think it's more based on personnel and what we have in-house. Um, obviously, uh, logic says that any pitcher that's used to routine and going on regular rest is probably stronger and has a better chance of success. Um, but to be quite honest, I haven't looked at those short rest uh, outings. I really haven't. And so I just think that with the guys that we have in our clubhouse, the guys are going to take the ball, and in this case, Alex Wood, uh, for us, it's a no-brainer. Jay. Oh, sorry, Alana. Uh, yeah, one more piece of uh, your left. Uh, does the last start at the Colorado is change his role at the postseason? Um, no. Uh, with Hunjin, uh, 